Good morning. Uh, welcome to your daily cup of tea with Mrs. T. I'm still brewing my tea right now. If you hear anything weird, it's because my husband, like a, a noise in the background, my husband got it in his head that he's going to power wash the driveway and the sidewalk today. He's that person. So he's doing that. Um, so this morning, um, I ended up going back to Kentwood. So at the end of this video, you're going to see my adventure going back into room 164 uh, to get some things because after 2 o'clock today, I can't go back until um, April 24th unless they change things. So that's going to be exciting. Um, tea of the day today is comes from uh, one of my favorite brands, Tazo. You can't see it because I had to rip it off. But this one is called Zen. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty mellow, chill green tea. Green tea is good for you, so um, you only steep it for three minutes. Good stuff. Um, so that's what I'll be drinking today. I brought a little friend home with me. Some of you may recognize my one of my favorite mugs. Um, also, t-shirt of the day, another one of my favorite ones. Um, don't feel attacked, okay? But I love all mythical creatures, vampires, werewolves, unicorns, kids who listen. Um, some of you may recognize that this shirt from uh, Valentine's Day, so that's the last time I think I wore it. So new shirt every day. Boom. There it is. Um, no makeup because, you know, I'm not here to impress. Um, so what else did I do today? This morning I went for a run. Um, I've been doing couch to 5k for a while now. I'm on week six out of nine. Um, I'm up to where I do a five minute warm up walk. 22 minutes of jogging, which I'm very slow. I have very slow pace, like around 14 minutes, 14 minute miles. Um, all my cross country runners are probably laughing right now because you're probably <laughs> twice as fast as me. Um, that's okay, you gotta start somewhere. And then I have a five minute cool down. So I'd encourage you to find something to keep yourself physically active as well. Um, maybe that's climbing the stairs, um, going up and down those a few times each day. Um, I'm also going to pick up with uh, my morning yoga again that I was doing last August. It made me feel a lot better. I use um, a YouTuber that a lot of people are familiar with and it's Yoga with Adrian. Um, I'll put the link under this video so that you can access some of her stuff if you're interested in doing some yoga. Um, especially if they do anything with, like they've done in Italy and Spain with restricting movement. Um, I think going online being able to do a little bit of yoga might be very helpful for some of us. So I'm gonna pick up with that again in the mornings as well as getting some runs in. Um, today I'm also hoping to get some grading done. Um, probably spend a few hours on that after I get this video uploaded. So I'll be doing that though while I'm waiting for my bread to rise. So I'm gonna, in a few minutes when I'm done recording this, I'm gonna go make this rye bread. Um, it comes from, Oh, the Paul Hollywood with the dreamy blue eyes and silver fox hair. He's a great uh, baker. You may know him from the Great British Bake Off. So um, I have his cookbook. I'm going to make this rye bread to go with some of the leftover uh, corned beef from yesterday. So I can have a delicious Reuben with homemade rye bread um, probably tomorrow. Because it takes about eight hours to make. So um, you have to wait for the um, different proving times. To happen. So that's kind of the basics of what's going on. My kids are at the park right now. Husband is power washing stuff because that's what guys do or something. I don't even know. Um, so I'm gonna I have no word of the day today. Um, I decided since I filmed a little bit at the school that I would instead just do that for today's video. Um, I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy. Don't forget to uh, live long and prosper. And I will see you again tomorrow, but for the, in the meantime, enjoy this video from uh, Kentwood. Bye. Hey guys, good morning, guess where I am? Oh yes, I came in for the last hurrah, um, last chance to grab a few things, and here are some funny things um, that I noticed I wanted to share. Finally got my COVID-19 cleaner. Good thing it came uh, after we closed. Everything's unplugged. Goodbye, Keurig. I'll be having tea from home. Goodbye, Mulder and Scully. Goodbye, Kurt Vonnegut Jr.
goodbye to my tape dispensers, the typewriter, and a little Star Trek. I'm going to be grabbing some books to take home from myself and my daughter. Uh, I hope you guys were able to get some uh, before the library is closed. If not, try to look online for some. Some of you uh, may have a mom or dad that fits in this category, but have you ever known somebody who has a bag full of bags? Like a bag full of reusable bags that you wonder if they ever use? Yeah, that's me. Time to say goodbye to the mural of cats. Oh no, this is gonna be sad. Uh, I don't want this stuff to stick to the board. I don't know, you know, when we get back. Goodbye, kitty, cinnamon roll kitty. Thanks to all those who added to it. It was kind of fun to see the cats evolve and everybody's different take on it. So maybe we'll do something again another time when we're back together. Oh, that's the definition of sadness. I'm still hoarding the big roll of white butcher paper. Don't tell my uh, coworkers about that. Taking my Kleenex with me, that's for sure. I think I should take that with me too. Yep, it's happening. Goodbye 164. See you on the flip side.